Alright guys, so this is just a quick video to show that um, I made the chassis to fit into the Rockstar Basher. Um, so you just got the motors and everything. Uh, I made the chassis to just fall in place, uh, same spot as the original. And I made it two different thickness. Uh, this is the 1mm thickness. The problem with the 1mm thickness is that you're going to have to find shorter bolts because um, the original ones are are designed for the chassis and the original one and they go through too far if you use the one millimeter chassis so I made a four millimeter chassis plate side plate so that you guys can use the same bolts um, if you have the short ones then just go ahead and use the short ones for these areas here uh, now the chassis that I put up on um, Thingiverse has this piece right here to hold on to the hole I don't know what the heck I was thinking for this one but I made the holes way too close I don't know what kind of measurement I was using um, whack it's too late um, but anyways I fixed that so you can hold on you know you'll use these holes right here instead of these right here which just float in the air um, anyways um, this right here is what you're gonna end up with if you have the shorter bolts to put this one the one millimeter one because um, the shocks um, their bolts are longer as well so you're gonna end up with these right here so you're gonna have to either cut these down or just print the thicker version of these um, I don't know I think I'm just gonna cut them down because I don't want the thick sidewall because it's just gonna make it look thin uh, thicker it's not really thick as it is and uh, where did I put the other one? Oh man I don't know what the heck I did here it is. All right, so here's a ah, little spider. Here's the um, original body. Um, I'm. I did this because uh, one of the viewers asked me if I could, if they could use the spider chassis on it, and I realized that I hadn't made it to fit this, but everything fits. Everything's in there. Um, I guess since you don't have the transmission in there, even though you have such a huge box, it fits in the chassis pretty good. I mean, you still have some room left over even. So, you know, it's got the same articulation as before, and, you know, it does all the same stuff. And uh, you just end up with a slightly smaller body, which, um, I don't know, I kind of like. So, see? looks really tiny in there but it really does fit everything it just looks bigger from the top but um, even from the top it's still you know eh, close but anyways it's there if you guys want it it's on Thingiverse uh, you can download it print it do whatever you want and uh, now you have another option so I don't know. I don't know that anybody's doing bodies for this. Anyways, um, I'm still, I'm still planning on making a specific chassis for the Basher. Um, thought about making it with the, you know, copper tubing, like I said on the previous videos. But I don't know. I might, I might make something a little more extreme. Anyways, Spider on Basher, it works out. So. <laughs> Um, oh, also, I made a different version for this piece here. Uh, the shocks with this chassis, they go all the way down. They don't crash onto the, onto the top. But because the original had these holes here, and you can see the shocks going up and down, that looked kind of cool. So I decided to make some you know, holes on this right here so you can see the shocks as well. And if you, you know, start messing with it or whatever and you still have some room for them to stick out if they had to and uh, the only problem is I didn't have that problem you know I don't have that problem with my printer uh, but some printers might have an issue printing it because of the overhang so uh, just make sure your printer will be able to do it and, and you'll be able to print it just fine anyways that's it hope you guys um, enjoy and uh, oh also the gear motors for the other one for the transmission I'm gonna put the description of what you have to look for on eBay to get those motors you can get them anywhere else that sells those gear motors but um, 
I'll just put what the description is for you to get um, on eBay because a lot of people ask me and you know it's kind of hard for me to just every time answer the same question over and over so at least I'll put it there and you guys can um, get those motors okay alrighty well there you go hope you enjoy thanks for watching